theater was a man of many parts, engineer, poet, musician, puppeteer, and meticulous craftsman. his first play, Sita Swayamvar, at the age of 22, for Chintaman Rao Patwadhan, the Raja of Sangli. The princely state of Sangli, located on the confluence of the Krishna and Varna rivers, was a seat of culture then. The sound of poetry, song and music filled the air. Theatrical performances took place in the precincts of the Ganpati temple, built over a hundred and fifty years ago. Like the rest of Sangli, Vishnu Das's home, Bhavevada, has also undergone a sea change since those days. Here it was that he wrote his poems, carved his masks, and crafted his puppets. It was in 1842 that the Raja of Sangli saw an itinerant group of players from Karnataka give a performance of Yakshagan. So impressed was he that he wished a similar play to be written for his own court and subjects. His discerning eye fell on a young member of his personal staff, the versatile Vishnudas Bhave. And out went the royal order. Vishnudas was to write a mythological play, like Yakshagan, but more refined. Vishnudas set to work. From his creative labors sprang Sita Swayambar, the first Marathi play. Performed in 1843, it pleased the Raja so much that he ordered Vishnudas to continue writing similar plays. Thus was born Maharashtra's theatre tradition, vitally alive to this day. But Vishnudas Bhave's unique puppets had died with him. It was only in 1989 when they found their way into ventriloquist and puppeteer Ramdas Padhe's keeping that their slow resurrection began. This is the story of how it was done.
I must get down to those Bhave puppets now. Look at this. Here is the carriage. It is designed to carry the puppets over parallel tracks. This rod passes through the carriage and the puppets. The manipulator must have sat or stood under the stage to turn the rod which would make the puppet turn. Now look at this pulley. You pass a string through it and the puppets and see what happens. Every joint is articulated like this. The man's genius is astounding. Just look at this. Aparna, we must have a show. It was decided. A deadline was set. Ramdas would assemble the puppets and Aparna would write the script. Aparna began to read about Sangli, about Vishnu Das Bhave, about the puppet theatre tradition in India. Meanwhile, Ramdas struggled. Limbs, torsos, heads lay strewn around him in shocking dismemberment. An endless series of riddles. How discover the secrets of their construction? How make them whole again? It is my firm belief that Bhave used to do his puppet shows before he wrote his first play. All evidence points to the fact that Bhave turned to puppet shows only after his actors had joined other theatre companies. Vishnudas Bhave's plays were staged against a deep red backdrop. On one side stood the Sutradhar or presenter with the musicians. The play would begin with the Sutradhar installing an image of Hanuman. Then the Vidusha, the clown, would enter. 